Hello, I'm Alice and I'm going to also talk today about harvesting rainwater. Harvesting rainwater is a lot simpler than harvesting grey water. Basically you need a roof and you need rain and the roof that I have is about 200 square meters but I really wouldn't get caught up in the technical details as long as you've got plenty of roof and gutters that can lead to a single point where you can collect the rainwater. Um, we have a double story, the water comes off and it comes into the gutters and then the gutter, we have to bring in gutters which we trained all the way, I'm turning around, into this tank. This is a 5,000 litre tank. It's attached to a 0.75 kilowatt pump and then we have then attached a pipe from here to a garden tap and onto that garden tap obviously we can water the garden. The pump gives us excellent water pressure. We can water with a sprinkler, with uh, an irrigation system, and it will have more than one watering out of a 5,000 litre tank. The nice thing about rainwater harvesting is that we have only just had 20 millimetres of rain and this entire tank has filled up. So that if we don't have rain next week, I can use this tank to water my garden and in a week's time, or two weeks' time, if the rain comes, it will fill again. The components of a rainwater harvesting are that you must obviously have gutters that you can train into your tank. You'll see a, a device there which is what they call a leaf catcher or first flush mechanism, which comes with every tank. What the experts don't tell you is that actually it's almost too late to have it there. You need some kind of sieve at the entry point into your gutter system into the tank. Because the problems we've had and the problems everyone will have is that leaves get into the gutters and they compact it and then the water can't come through to the tank and it spills over and it's just wasted. So keep your gutters clean all the time. Try and have a sieve at that entry point and just check all the time that the water is flowing through. And then it is just so simple. It rains, your tank fills up, you use the water on your garden. It saves you a huge amount of money in terms of not having to use municipal water. And the water is great for emergencies. If your own water is cut off, we use it, we boil it, we drink it and use it in the house. And it will cost between 10 to 14,000 Rand to install. That of course depends on tanks, how many tanks and how big. But I would not recommend smaller than 5,000.